guys. Welcome to your morning cup. I'm your host, W. Dubois. Um, before we get to the meat and potatoes, I just want to say I appreciate everybody, you know, sending me um, support. Um, the messages, DMs, all that stuff, you know, a little, little calls so a lot of people. I know some people I don't. And that's cool, man, you know. We can expand the cup and continue doing this and do more of it. That's the plan, right? So, um... Let's get to it down back to down to Houston, to Texas, where the controversial um, uh, uh, sexual harassment civil case of Deshaun Watson continues to move on. I said I was going to um, speak on it. It's been a while since I made the, the video where I initially spoke about it. A lot has happened since then. And um, a lot of things have happened because, you know, to be honest, initially, you know, I was like, you know, I'm not saying it's not a money grab still. Of course it's a money grab. We've got almost 50 people involved in this thing. 20, half of them are accusing him of wrongdoing and, and are part of a civil suit against him. Okay? So we know that. Now, today's, like I said, it's April 8th. A lot of new things to, um, have happened. Tomorrow, um, Rusty Harden has called for an emergency hearing dealing with the civil case. I mean, I don't know about the screen, if you guys can see that, so I'm just gonna read it for y'all. Some of y'all not even looking at it, y'all just listen to this, so let me read this for you. Anyway, um, this is from Sarah Barshop of ESPN.com. A pair of hearings will be held tomorrow morning on the question of whether the 20 women suing, did I say women? <laughs> whether the 20 women suing Watson anonymously must disclose their identities. One will occur at 8.45 a.m. Eastern, and the other will happen at noon Eastern. That's tomorrow, Friday, on the 9th. Attorney Rustin, Rusty Harden, that's Watson's attorney, obsten, uh, 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 ostensibly requested emergency hearings because Watson's deadline for responding to the civil complaints is approaching. It's more likely, however, that Harden has used this tactic as a way to bring the matter to a head more quickly in order to force attorney Tony Busby to the table for settlement talks. Right? Indeed, Watson's official response to the 20 complaints Filed, all filed underneath Jane Doe pseudonyms could have consisted of broad denials of the various allegations based on the lack of specific, specificity, specific, oh my God, in the complaints. But that approach would not have applied immediate pressure to the named plaintiffs to disclose their identities. If Harden can secure a ruling that the 20 unnamed plaintiffs must disclose their names, one or more, and potentially all of the 20 unnamed plaintiffs would be more likely to engage in their meaningful settlement talks in order to keep their identity Anonymous. Okay, so basically, in a nutshell, they're saying um, they were run, um, the defendants were running out of time as far as putting their defense together. So they're using this emergency hearing to try to get um, the um, names of the the um, accusers, the the women in the complaint. Like this, if the women don't want to do that, they could force, like they were saying, they could force a settlement. And now that the camp, the, the Watson camp wants to settle, and um, and I would too if I was him because regardless of what's going on, Deshaun Watson has 22 women massage therapists saying he's done, you know, um, things to them, you know, of, of um, sexual um, misconduct, some sort of sexual misconduct towards them. Some ranging in sexual assault, to some just harassment, to some whatever, indecent exposure. He got all kind of, mis um, you know, sexual deviant um, accusations that have been levied against him. Now... When you look at Watson's situation, now I'm, we're hearing that there's criminal charges. There's a criminal complaint that has been filed against Deshaun. And um, that what that means is the police are investigating it. So worst case for Watson, if he gets arrested, this is going to blow up because his stock has fell off. All the teams have moved on with the quarterbacks they want. His before, when I was talking, we talked about Watson earlier, weeks ago, this looked like some money grab suing a sue. And it still is a money grab, but... The allegations and what's coming out and the and the and the stain that on his reputation is something that's never going to go away. And his trade values obviously plummeted. But that's neither not here nor there right now. We're talking about the law. We're talking about sexual assault. So forget about the football for a minute. Watson has twenty-two um, complaints against him. Twenty-two. Let me take that off. Right. Beats by Dre dropped him. Beats by Dre dropped the sponsorship. He's dropped the sponsorship. You remember these allegations have been going on for over a month. And there's been a lot of people, just like people such as myself, who have been very, you know, 
we've been allowed a little, you know, you know, a little bit like, you know, we're not believe, you know, ske- you know, skeptical at best, we'll say. You know, I've been very skeptical about the accusations, but regardless, you know, I don't feel as strongly that way. Why well, you've got 22 women now. There's no way. And what the hell is he doing with 22 massage therapists? For what, bro? That's, you know, he has a problem. Now, once you have a problem where you have an addiction, you make yourself vulnerable to other things, you know, where you make yourself vulnerable to false accusations when you have an addiction to something. Trust me, I know this. You understand? When you have secrets, you make yourself vulnerable to people who can use your secrets against you. So at the least bit, Deshaun Watson lives a very freaky um unadulterated life at the least and at the worst he's a sexual deviant stalker predator who should be behind bars you know and then but I think it's somewhere in between you know but that's the thing either way this is a crazy situation because if it's possible that he's not this is a scam that's crazy that they can get all these it's just awful the way the world work where they can get all these people to try to come together and destroy you come together like Voltron and destroy you but and or it could be that he is this superstar quarterback who gives away houses to families. But deep down in the cut, in secrecy, he's a sexual predator. He's a sexual deviant. You know, he wants you to put his... He, wants, he, he hires masseuses, you know, to finger his ass and shit. No, that's what he was doing. Check it out. What up with you? All right, let's start with her. No, no, this is the one I will. Oh, here we go. Clearly directed me away from a... Th- Sorry about that, guys. Let's go. Session. You clearly directed this me away Hensel. from a therapeutic glute massage toward your anus. What? Attempted to start the session. You clearly directed me away from a therapeutic glute massage toward your anus. Every boundary from professional and therapeutic to sexual and degrading you crossed or attempted to cross. You insisted that I not use my knuckles or forearms, but that I use my fingers for digital stimulation, which is an ethical violation of massage practice when working in the gluteal area. Ay, 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 man. You know, that shit is not looking good. This is why um, Mr. Harden, Watson's lawyer, called for an emergency hearing. I, this lady's name is Miss Hensel. She's the second person to come out of a, of um of being anonymous, I can might even try to say that word. <laughs> that, or what was the other one I wanted specifically? And I said it, I could say it, but earlier, oh my god. But anyway, um, she came out of her anonymous um state. She she's out here in the front, no more Jane Doe, Miss Hensel. And you heard what she said, man. She said the show on yo, <laughs> yo, this is crazy, yo. But how did he make her finger his ass? How did she make him? How did he make? If he he asked her, or he, you know, that's um the practice. I understand the complaint, civil wise. She want money, yo. At the end of the day, she want money. You know, he got this white woman in the blazer up there, man. He in trouble, man. You in trouble now, baby. Here goes another one. For assault and harassment, Deshaun Watson is my assaulter and my harasser. Deshaun Watson assaulted and harassed me on March 30th, 2020, in my own home, doing what I love most, massage therapy. All right, man, you know, the emotional woman up there, who are we to say that we wasn't there? So, you know, you know, you can't just say, oh, F her, you know, but... You know, on the flip side of things, this is the same woman who was one of the initial accusers who's asking for a cash settlement, and she was denied that by Mr. Watson. Her. Reported by TMZ. Here we go. And that's her. You know, that's the same woman. You just saw her, right? Showed you the nose ring. Ashley Solis. Deshaun's attorney claims accuser Ashley Silas who identified herself as Jane Doe number one on Tuesday. This is from April 6th, so it's a couple days ago. This is this past Tuesday, this article. Ba 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 
demanded $100,000 in hush money before filing her suit. And Watson's attorney claims he has the emails to prove it. Solis was the first accuser to file a sexual conduct, misconduct lawsuit against the Houston Texas star back quarterback on March 16th. She used a pseudonym to protect her identity. She came forward in a news conference alongside her attorney, Tony Bunsby, on Tuesday and spelled out her case against Watson at one point explaining, people say that I'm doing this just for money. That is false. I come forward so that Deshaun does not assault another woman. Right? Okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, we see that she asked for 100000 and then she came up in the video, you know, all emotional and shit, yo. At the end of the day, this is about money. Now Deshaun and them, they want to pay the money. You know, there was accusers who earlier who had said that Deshaun never did anything to them um, illegally or anything that they didn't that they said no to. She, she was like, she just wanted money to keep Deshaun's secret. And if she didn't get money, I think it was 20000 she said that she would um, disclose Deshaun's business. And she had proof. So probably some freaky shit, you know, Deshaun probably like bananas in his ass. This is the last one he asking about the glutes. Deshaun, you know, yo, man, the man have a problem, the man. Yo, there's no reason he should have 50 masseuses. And you're saying there's 20, I showed you 22, the lawsuit where they had 22 masseuses. But there's 50 because there's another 25 to 30 of them who have, Rusty Harden has acquired, you know. Look, there it is. Deshaun Watson's attorney, Rusty Harding, has now issued a press release with what he says are 18 massage therapists who support Watson. Here is a sample. During the past two weeks, the law office of Rusty Harding has received uh, these women, uh, and here goes one of them. Maya Robertson is a licensed massage therapist who's been working in Houston for 10 years, primarily on athletes. She says, I started working with Deshaun in December of 2019. After being referred to him by another therapist, he sent me a screenshot of a diagram that the head trainer of the Texans gave him, highlighting the muscles that needed to be worked on, which included the groin and hamstrings. He asked if I felt comfortable working on those areas, and I said yes, because I am used to working on athletes. And she says she worked with Watson, you know. And all of that is cool, but why did Deshaun need 40, 18, and 22? I kept saying 50, all right, 40. There's 40 women, and like 95% of them are, are massage therapists. Yo, that is some, I mean, I can't really relate, but obviously it's something that he likes because it's something he has, he's, he's practicing in excessively. To have a whole bunch of them, you know, you trying them out like they hookers. Oh, man, Deshaun. Like, it's a different stripper. I want to go give my money to this stripper. Like, I don't know, man. I'm not, I've never been a massage guy. I've got a massage, a professional massage one time overseas when I was in the Navy. It was dope. They were incredible. You know, and um, I have a chiropractor I had before too. It's incredible, but I'm not. But this, you know, he obviously has the resources to partake in his life. You know, he's a he's a high profile, world class athlete. You know, and anyone that know who he was, they know who he is now. So you know, he's got problems. You know, he's had a huge, a, a great reputation. It's never going to be like that again. He needs to worry about criminal charges not being filed on him, so he can move on with his life. There's going to be people who say. He got set up. There's going to be people say this is bullshit. There's people going to say this is overblown. There's people going to say he's a sexual predator. There's people going to say he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a perv. And there's people going to say he belongs in prison. And none of that happened before. Before he was good. He was one of the guys. He was good. He was good. You know, the, the, the Texans, you know how I feel about them. I think they're, they're a racist organization. But they didn't do this to Deshaun. You know, this shit, Deshaun got them bitches, man. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> you were flying women in from Atlanta. It's just the story's so weird because on the flip side, what massage therapist, but if she probably like, yo, I'm going to go massage Deshaun Watson, probably some would go if we'll fly from Atlanta to Houston. Sure. This guy normally makes $30 million a year. Maybe I, you know, you know, I don't know. But definitely a money grab. If you gotta get some money together and shut them up because this is not gonna end up good any other way, regardless of how severe or how um, overblown this might be.
Life used to be good. Life used to be good, Deshaun, huh? Y'all know who that is, right? When he was chilling with porn stars and nobody cared. Yeah, man. He's gonna be alright, though. The sun is still gonna shine, man. You know, the sun always gonna shine. We gonna be alright. You know, you know at the end of the day, you know, you know you mean well, you're trying to do the right thing, keep doing that, man. Everything else will fall into place, you know? Tough times don't last, tough people do. Y'all know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. Um, we're gonna come up with another cup. I'm gonna be with Maddie B tomorrow on Epis Sports uh, Radio, or should I say Epis Radio. It's gonna be, um, there's gonna be a Twitch stream. I'm gonna put it on this, um, in these descriptions. Of this video and I'm gonna put it on Instagram. My Instagram is W underbar Dubois. Um and I'm on Twitter too, but uh whatever. What else? That's about it. That's about it on the cup. Yeah, but it's gonna be a Twitch stream. Yo, Twitch is lit, yo. Get Twitch, yo. My OGs, my fellow, my peers, my fellow old heads, get a Twitch, yo. Get a Twitch. Get a Twitch. Get a Twitch, yo. But anyway, sun gonna come up. We out of here, man. The cup. Bitch, I'm not gonna get the fuck out of here. Shit, fuck it.